Okay, a part of the system uh, analysis, okay, is fact finding, and very often, okay, the system analyst will do a lot of fact finding or spend a lot of effort over here. So basically, uh, you will answer the very standard five question, all right? Who, what, when, where, and how. But all the while looking for information about the system itself, all right? Uh, what is its weakness at this current moment? Who does what process? Okay, uh, where does the information come from? Go to why right. when is something executed? Okay, or how is it done? Right. Currently, what is this system uh, perform? Right. How is this actually done? And to do this, okay, there are several fact finding techniques. One of the very common one is interview. Okay, but uh, interview is actually consists of a process which we will cover much much later all right so interview is not just go to someone and ask question all right there is a process you have to first identify who you're going to interview all right and what is the objective all right that you want to achieve from the interview from this objective you develop the proper question all right okay then you prepare for the interview itself either you want it to be online you want it to be done through skype okay a google meet you want to be done face to face okay right, whatever uh, then you actually conduct the interview right, and they have of course a lot of interview techniques okay and you record down everything document down and of course you need to evaluate have you achieved your objective or do you need a second interview right, for instance okay or do you need to counter check with someone else of this information this piece of information that you have obtained interview is not the only way to get data or information you can look at the documentation all right the documentation itself okay look at all their processes through their documentation but make sure you are looking at the updated right, documentation right, the one that is currently being used okay right. you may even want to obtain copies of the form if they are using some form right you will both right, take both the actual completed form as well as the blank one why because sometimes you see the data on the blank form but actually when it is being used when the form is actually being used there are certain other data that is added onto the form but it's not in the field all right so you want to also understand those type of information okay because it is being used right, somewhere by someone right. sometimes you just have to go down look at the process right you need to go down and observe the situation right. what is being done how is being done but you have to be very careful why right. because people will behave differently when they are being observed okay so another way you can work with is the cctv all right if it's recorded okay that is a good idea you can actually play it so the person will act very naturally the usual way that he or she will okay but if you want to interview someone it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of effort but if you want to get a lot of data sometimes interview is not a suitable way to do it okay you may want to go into survey or you may want to use questionnaire and survey all right standard question send out email all right or give the link ask them to fill in the form all right and then you will get a lot of feedback all right from this well, there is also a process of sampling getting samples of everything that you can get all right 
uh, record from the database okay a uh, sample of reports okay some uh, documentation all right some work requests different type of forms or right? fill in and so forth all right and from this sampling techniques that you use okay either is systematic stratified or random sampling all right it will also give you a nice view about what is going on in the system